Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we're looking at the QE Design Controller Groups for Quest 2. So when I was reviewing the dumbbells from the same company, I sneaked in some two cents about the previous product that I've tried, specifically this thingy for Quest 1. It was essentially the same idea of the grips, though the build at the time was so primitive that it was just blocking the buttons and it was not really comfortable to wear. Apparently me complaining is only profitable because QE reached out again with an offer to try out the new version. I don't know if when I shit talk is just entertaining or I'm just stupidly lucky to get more free stuff. Whatever the case is, I'm very appreciative. <laughs> so this new version of the controller grips for Quest 2 comes with various upgrades for your daily usage of it. I saw that there's a small version that don't prolong your whole build, but I got the ones that are designed for people with bigger hands. For me the main thing about it is the whole comfort and protection of the controller. It has like a silicone protection ring, the place where you actually grip your hand with is made from I don't know what material, some sort of a rubber thing kind of resembling the old school PlayStation controllers. The actual knuckle strap is conveniently adjustable that you don't have to take off the hand from it. There's like an opening for the battery as well but I could care less honestly. If you didn't clock it already I actually started using it maybe like two weeks ago if you paid attention to the footage I've recorded. It's honestly the most used accessory by me for now. I don't know because I'm too lazy to get it off because it's hard. Like to properly install it takes few minutes I think and then if I want to switch to the smaller basic version it's a little bit too much so I'm I'm stuck with it. I do have to say I love this adjusting thing. I don't really use that much because I think the whole cover has two modes of playing. When you don't want it flying around then you really just tighten it and it doesn't go anywhere. And then with experiences that you need more control you have an access to the buttons and joystick with less tight grip. I don't particularly love this ring here. It's made from like a very elastic silicone. I had no problems with tracking since it's transparent. Though I feel like if I would hit it with something or like swipe with it against the wall and it to just come off easily. So I wish it would be more secure on the edges or something. Besides that the controller feels very nice. You know like the stock one would feel a bit plasticky and unnatural. This makes a very good impression that you actually hold something. Which is interesting, I definitely felt the difference in VR. Especially when I'm holding something in game, it feels more realistic. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It takes a while to get used to since it's like a bigger version. Though now I don't know if I can go back to the normal one. I think that would be all with it to be honest. I'm surprised this is such an upgrade from the first version that they have. This smallest thing went into something bigger. Also look at it, it's cracked. <laughs> My quest one days were intense and this is a proof of it. All in all, I really like it and I use it daily. Maybe because I got it for free and it's very nice. But I guess if you're into premium accessories for Quest 2 then I would put my stamp of approval for it if it's even worth something. <laughs> Many thanks to QE Design for giving me the opportunity and I guess let me complain some more so I'll get more stuff.